finally, finally, and I do mean finally. I mean, <laughs> I honestly am so embarrassed. I don't even want to tell you how many days I've had to time travel for this to happen. I really don't even want to tell you. I'm, I'm quite frankly embarrassed. Um, and it is just weird, Marshall, I am talking to you. It is a little weird that like, it's Eric, you know? I was kind of hoping at least it would be like Eugene or even Marshall first. Like Eric is... I have a lot of love in my heart for Eric and it is sad to me that it's Eric out of everybody who is wanting to leave but it's been so long and I've been trying so hard that I'm just like fucking bye cool okay pack your bags cool bye so let's just make sure I don't uh, press the wrong button. Anyway, Eric is finally giving me the solace that I've been working tirelessly for. I've been thinking about moving away I mean from here away from here. Please, yes, please do. It's just, I want to try yummy snacks from all over the world. I don't want to miss out on any flavors. I absolutely agree. I wish you so much luck. Well, I'm gonna miss hanging out with you. We had some real good times, chow down. See, I have hung out with Eric so little that I didn't even know that his <laughs> phrase was chow down. What the fuck? Also, I'm going for like the like haunted girl in the nightgown look. What do you think? Marshall, please consider being next. And Eugene, I swear to God, I'm assembling a mob. <laughs> as we speak, an angry, angry mob to burn your house down. I mean, I don't know what else to fucking do. I'm sick of it, dude. I'm beyond sick of it, in fact. I have to be really fucking careful about what day I go to and... <laughs> Like just everything, because I, I have an issue apparently lately. I have such a fucking huge issue. Oh, speak of the fucking devil. Get the hell out of here, you piece of shit. No, I have like a huge, huge issue, just like an uncontrollable fucking whim to time travel wrong to the point where the, it autofills. And I have got to stop doing that. So I'm going to time travel to tomorrow, see Eric out and then time travel to the next day. Cause like, that's the only, I don't know. I just don't even feel safe doing like the whole two days thing. Like I'm scared, I'm fucking scared. So I have no choice, but to, yeah. Like just be really careful, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna actually go on a villager hunt now. <laughs> We really are. I swear, I'm not going to let it happen again where it's like an autofill. No, we are doing a fucking villager hunt if it's the last goddamn thing I do. I have worked too damn hard for this. We're doing a villager hunt. So I will see you on the flip side. What's the worst thing I could say? Things are better if I say so long and good night. So long and good night. Well, if you carry on this way, things are better if I say so long and good night. So long and good night. All right, I am still in my like Samara crawling out of the TV era and Eric is gone, bitch. And it's not sold. The plot did not autofill. I feel like I had like a PTSD thing. Like I was like my heart, I it was racing coming around here because it's just, I'm not even used to seeing it not being sold. It's like such good news. Girls, the girls, the girls. Remember when you were doing this with Goose, Marina? I'm scared to take my eyes off the bobber. Yeah, well then don't. I don't know what to tell you. I'm really happy for you girls. Cherry's like, you couldn't pay me to participate in this and I love that for her. Anyway, I'm just going to get started right away before somebody fills that plot. Honestly, I'm terrified that that will happen because I really, really need it to just be like a select few. Since when? Hold on. Since when was there like a little cactus and like another little plant back here? Since fucking when, dude? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. I'm over here like doing a crossing channels job. I'm sure he's already covered this. Shout out to Ben. I, he's like genuinely the sweetest, sweetest guy in the world actually. And I'm sure he already covered that there's a cactus in the corner over here. I just never noticed it. And there's like another little, like, I don't know what that is. Like a little ficus or something. Interesting. Anyway, how many tickets do I have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120. 120 tickets. So I have a basic idea of who we're looking for. And firstly, I think my biggest wish is Petrie actually is like number one, just because I don't have anybody for that section. Like I really want to do like a psycho scary lab. That would be great. Petrie, I would love for you to do that, to do like human experiments and like torture people and stuff. Like that would be really cool of you, especially because like I think it's very empowering as like a, a mouse because they're like the most 
tested on creature in the world. And we're like finally putting the power back in like the mouse's hands. <laughs> I love that for her. Uh, so I'd love my boss stem bit baddie bitch. So I would love to welcome my boss stem baddie bitch home. Um, also, I would scream with joy to see Roswell. Even though I already have an alien, y'all know that I need two. <laughs> I just need two aliens, please. Not who I was looking for. Ralph, is that his name? Bye. Bye, cutie. I mean, he's not the worst thing I could have ever stumbled upon, but certainly not the best. So yeah, Roswell, I would just be overcome with joy to find he is the perfect alien villager to go with Ioni. And then y'all got me thinking. Y'all really got me thinking about something. I didn't initially plan to have Lucky on this island, like in any way, shape or form, honestly. I'm not planning any Egypt, scary, creepy, the mummy starring Brendan Fraser moments on this island. And yet the, 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 there's been several like things that have gotten me thinking about Lucky. First and foremost, me just encountering him on several islands and realizing that he, the man is full of drama. He's like the most dramatic, lazy ever. He's actually a fuckboy and a lazy, and I didn't think that was possible, but it is. As we all saw, he's a cheating bastard and a lazy villager, and it's crazy. So, like, the lazies are obviously very creepy, but he's also a fuckboy, and it's like, we kind of need a resident fuckboy that isn't Eugene. I don't know. It's like one of those things where, like, I still want this island to be full of drama, you know? So, like, who better to bring than Lucky? And then with Lucky, you know, being a mummy, I could still do some kind of like catacomb, scary, like graveyard shit, just like embalmed bodies, <laughs> corpses, you know, stuff like that. So I was thinking about Lucky. And then, um, come on. Like, I mean, honestly, you're terrifying, Ricky. Like this man is on a rampage. He's on a rampage. Don't fucking let him see you. He will hit you. He'll wind up and hit you right in the fucking face, dude. I'm ready to go home. Anyway, so Lucky's actually in the running, which is, it's pretty hard to believe. Um, Y'all have given me, honestly, a really good argument, really given me a lot to think about when it comes to Cherry, actually, because first and foremost, I am loving her. I mean, obviously, what a gal. I mean, f for real. I've always wanted Cherry. I love her more than life itself. She is such an icon and I love her. And I think she's like, I don't know. I really don't want to get rid of her anytime soon. And it's like, what else is there? Who else is there? And it's like, how many more villagers do I need? Like I already have like these like three spots to fill. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I just think that Cherry could actually work out. We'll see. Um, and who else is on my list? I don't remember. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Is there... Where's the villager? Hello? Hello? Hmm. There just isn't anyone here? That's really weird. This is like a dud island. Like, I just... I don't see shit. I don't see anyone or anything. I don't know. That's really weird kind of like a waste of a ticket but whatever I guess hmm I'm ready to go home I would love for the next island to have a villager on it though Wilbur I think that would be so awesome that'd be sick that'd be fucking sick dude that'd be rad if like a villager was on the, the next island I don't know I guess we'll just we'll see who who's on this island hopefully there's a villager oh it's a money island yeah obviously <gasps> i know him hold on hey uh hey you so hooray for first meetings actually zell um we lived very close to one another for many many months he's like flirting with me like I, zell it's me your best friend's girlfriend hello whatever Anyway, I'm going to do this money island really quick. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Even though, <gasps> no way, it's him. It's Wolfgang. It's Wolfgang. Like, should I even? Maybe I should because this is like a new life. This is a new me. Maybe I should. Hold on, put this away. I'm like in this stupid dress, but whatever. Honestly, I'm I'm killing it. What, who am I kidding? Don't believe we've met. Name's Wolfgang. 
Fancy meeting you here, uh, wherever here is. I'm a mite fuzzy on that part, snarl. Yeah, same. I don't, I, everything else melted away when I saw you. To be quite honest with you, Wolfgang. You're Amanda, right? From Mothman? You're a long way from home. How does he like know me? Or at least I think you are. Well, we all got our reasons for being where we are, I reckon. I just need to puzzle out mine. Yeah, I have my reasons, Wolfgang. I certainly have my reasons for being here. I like to look out on the water. He's like just totally mesmerized by me. He does. He wants to know my reasons, doesn't he? Anyway, I don't really have a lot of time for this, but I am certainly glad that I got you thinking and then I'm leaving you with, with a little something to consider. Eat your heart out, I guess. All right, here we go up the mountain. And remember, I bring my ladder on purpose. I like the drama. Whoa, oh my goodness. It's a cursed girl, Aurora. God, she's t kind of scary, I will admit. I mean, honestly, she's pretty fucking scary, actually. Oh my God, Aurora. What the fuck? Oh, look at this face she's making. It's like saw. It's like jigsaw. It's like actually like Billy the Puppet is what I meant. <laughs> is what I was thinking of. Yikes, Aurora. How fucking terrifying is Aurora? Am I about to like put her on the list of people like I might take, but I'm not taking her right now? Like she's honestly, honest to God, this is one of the scariest villagers. <laughs> Look at her dead eyes. Look at her dead void, like soulless eyes. And then she does that face and it's like, holy shit, girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? I will uh, consider it, Aurora. I would love to know what y'all think of Aurora. I mean, that face that she made, that was really frightening. So frightening. I'm crying. I'm actually bawling my eyes out and screaming. Bamboo hell, we meet again. There's like, I've never, ever, ever found a good villager on bamboo hell, except for today. Oh, Zucky. Oh my God, my Lord. My Lord and Savior, how are you, Zucker? How are you, my divine being? Zucker, please, please, I, I beg you for, for wisdom and guidance in this time. As you can see, I have fallen quite far. I am a destitute soul. I'm begging you to first and foremost forgive me and allow me into your kingdom, even though I am but a sinner. Secondly, uh, who should I take, my Lord? My Lord and Savior, who? Whomst? Whomst should I take? <laughs> Okay, yeah, he agrees with all my choices and he says I'm doing great despite the fact that I really know I'm not. He's like such a sweet, sweet guy. Sweet God, really nice God. Love you, Zucker. Thank you for being uh, my religion and for giving me hope for, I guess, just existence in general. Honestly, I'm just like always hoping that I'm embodying your spirit and that I'm living in your word, I guess. How will my heart be broken this time? Yeah, Egbert, like for real, dude. He, he could be sleeping in bed right now, but instead he's like out here ruining my life. Wilbur, I'm done here. I'm quite done here. You think I'm a joke? Do you think I'm a joke? I already know that you do. I know that the answer is yes. But since I'm like on another account and I haven't hashed this out with you yet, do you think I'm a joke? Do you think my time means nothing? That I just have all the time in the world to fucking waste villager hunting? Is that what you think? <laughs> just yes or no? It's a, just a yes or no question, Wilbur. He's like avoiding the question. It's fine. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So cool. Okay, come on out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just don't have all day. <gasps> bangle, bangle the, the baddie. Bangle the baddie, bitch. Please run for president. You said you would. Like fucking when, bangle? What am I supposed to fucking do? I hate everyone running my country. I'm just begging you to run for office please we need you now more than ever bangle we need you now more than ever bangle where the hell are you she's probably like you know raising funds and building momentum i get that it's hard obviously it's so hard to break into the, the political scene especially with all these old fucking white men it's like fucking croak already and allow bangle to take your place why does wilbur keep wasting my time talking to me and also giving me I, <gasps> i'm gonna fucking puke i'm gonna puke <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just like, oh. <laughs> I'm really making really.
really gross noises right now. I'm like a gross, gross person. I make really gross person. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay. The big reason that I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna fucking cry. I'm actually about to fucking cry. Like, for real. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to take my glasses off and wipe my tears a little bit. <laughs> no, like, honest to God. Y'all, if you know, you know. But if you don't, like, I'm about to tell you. <sighs> Okay, Kyle, I get it. You're here. I get it. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Oh my god. Yeah, it feels just as good as I thought it would. Um, so this is Kyle the wolf. <laughs> and uh, most of you do know that this is my boyfriend. Like this is my boy, my Animal Crossing boyfriend. I love him. He's my favorite villager by far. I have like so many Kyle things, like little, you know, Kyle things. I have a Kyle plushie. I have like Kyle pictures, so many Kyle things. This is my favorite villager. He's been my favorite villager since New Leaf. This is my favorite villager, right? Okay, so I already have him on Molokai. Obviously, I'm not going to take him <laughs> for Mothman as much as this hurts me um, because... The first videos I ever posted on YouTube, and I will cry, don't tempt me. So the first videos I ever posted, hi Kyle, yes, hello. The first videos I ever posted on my YouTube channel were me hunting for Kyle. And I spent the most tickets I've ever, ever, ever spent on a villager hunt. I think I spent 800 tickets to find him. And I didn't find him. I never found him. I gave up because and it just got to a silly point where I had been... <laughs> I just remember myself on the floor of my living room with Animal Crossing on the TV because I was so sick of sitting at my desk. And like I set up my little stupid thing to like record. So just so I could sit on the floor in the living room because I was so tired hunting for him. And it just didn't happen for me. It never happened. I found every single wolf except for fucking Kyle. And it finally got to a point where I was like, fuck it. Like, I just got to get him off Reddit. <laughs> and so I went and like found someone who had him in boxes on Reddit. And I never found him. I never once found him in my whole YouTube career. You guys have been coming and commenting. I found Kyle in three tickets. I found Kyle in five tickets. I found Kyle in 20 tickets. I never found him until right now. <laughs> Yeah, this is Kyle on an island. I found him and I can't believe it. It feels like such a weird fucking f fucked up thing that I'm just going to leave. Kyle, Kyle, my boyfriend, my beautiful, beautiful boy. I just honestly, how the fuck do you not love Kyle? He's the best wolf. He's the cutest, best wolf. I adore you. I'm so fucking sad that I have to leave him here, but I already have him. It's just crazy because like this is the Kyle that I found by myself, but I have to like, but this is my Kyle. No, I, <laughs> I but I found him. I, I, I gotta go. I just, I gotta go. I gotta go. I already have Kyle. I have my Kyle, my, my precious Kyle, my precious, precious Kyle. But God, if anything, it just, it just, it's a, it allows me to do something that I, that I never got to do. You know, I never got to find Kyle, but I just did. I just found him in like, in like five tickets or I don't even know how many it's been. Like not very many. And that means everything to me. And I, I just, I love that that happened. That's really special. <laughs> it's really quite special. So <clears throat> I found Kyle. I finally found Kyle on an island. I got that moment that I always dreamed of. Like in those videos, I always talked about dreaming of just like finding Kyle on an island. Like I just dreamed about it. I tried so hard to manifest it. I dreamed about it. It never happened. And like, here I am do finally living it out. So yeah, that's a big one. But anyway, wow, I have to like f f somehow get back into the zone of like, I'm looking for an alien, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, that was like a big deal for me and emotionally, even though this is all just Animal Crossing. But is it though? Is it really? Or is it more than that? I think it's quite, I think it's quite a bit more. All right, now who's going to break my heart this time? Like how could anybody be better than that? 
boots. What's up, boots? Okay, boots is like, you know, I already have my clown, basically. Hard act to follow boots, honestly. It's just so underwhelming. After finding Kyle, after all this wicked time. <laughs> all right, who's next? A Wolfgang again. Like, I just want you to see Wolfgang again. It's so funny because I went and flirted with Wolfgang and then I like moments later found Kyle. And I didn't even like flirt with him, but like it's because I already have him and it's just, it would be weird. But at the same time, it wouldn't like my heart felt, it felt pulled to him. But anyway, that's Wolfgang. Like I really don't need to go up there again. I'm actually embarrassed about my behavior last time I found Wolfgang. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, Wolfgang, you don't need to show up anymore. You need not show up anymore. You know what pisses me off and y'all are going to love this because it's, I'm going, I'm about to do an animal rant. You know what pisses me off? You know what fucking grinds my gears? <laughs> Monotrams. <laughs> Am I right? And I, like by piss me off, I mean like wildly fascinates me. I mean, I'm absolutely the biggest fan, but also like it's, it's hard. There's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to carry that the fact that monotrems exist, you know, it's like, what ha what happened? <laughs> Evolution. What happened here? How did you allow this? Why? What happened? It's okay to admit that you went a little overboard or that like, I don't really know, like that you um, freestyled a little, that you were kind of crazy, kind of kooky, kind of wacky, kind of wild in your like fucking Picasso era. I don't really know. Um, I just, I just can't really, my brain, like I have a hard time holding all the facts. Just like I have a hard time witnessing Biddy. Like what a woman, <laughs> what a woman. Genu I gotta go, Biddy. I have a huge appointment. I must get there on time. Really have got to go. Anyway, monotrems. So for those who don't know, the monotrems are <laughs> the group of Egg laying mammals. Yeah, yep, you heard me. And I know everybody knows that there's fucked up mammals that lay eggs, like a couple of them. There's platypuses and echidnas. And just for whatever fucking reason, they decided to lay eggs and lactate. They have mammary glands and so many other fucking things like that don't even make them that it just makes them, it's like, pick a side. Like, who the fuck even are you? Like, whose side are you on? Especially the platypuses, honestly. Like, I ought to fucking, I mean, it's just, as a biologist, it, it just pisses you off. I have so much to explain, you know? <laughs> I just have so much to explain. So many questions that I'm not sure I can answer. What I want you to know about platypuses is that they are a mammal, right? Technically. However, they, like I said, lay eggs, which is fucking bat shit crazy in and of itself. It's crazy, I tell you, that they lay eggs. They lay like two to three eggs at a time. They have these mammary glands like inside like this pouch that they keep them in because they're also kind of like marsupials where they have like a baby, the babies in the pouch. They don't even really have like teats. They have like, mam they just have their mammary glands like up in them and the babies eat the, they have the they get the milk from that which is weird <laughs> but that's just honestly so fucking scratching the surface if they just did that that'd be weird but they do so much more like first and foremost they are such a frankenstein animal that when the uh colonizers i'll call them like they are they were colonizers they went to australia to you know the explorers quote unquote bleh, british colonizers uh went to australia and got a specimen of a platypus and were like hey look scientists in England. We found this. It's weird, isn't it? They thought it was a hoax. They thought it was like a Fiji mermaid, fucking Ripley's, believe it or not, ass hoax. And they were like, yeah, that's really funny, guys. We're actual scientists. Like, this is a scientific institution. How dare you bring this to us? You obviously fucking sewed this up in a lab. How dare you? Get the hell out of my face. And they had to go back like three or four times and get more platypuses because like, Unfortunately, back then when they brought specimens home, the specimens unfortunately were dead. It's not like they were a living animal. Sadly, very sadly, this was way back in the day where they were all fucked up. Colonizers. That tells you everything you need to know, again. But it is really funny that they had to bring them back like four or five times. Who's this? Who could this be? Yikes, it's Angus. Okay, Angus. Like, I used to pull up for you, but your face... 
It gets more and more scary and severe the, the more I see it. Anyway, so they had to bring him back like three or four times before they were finally like, uh, hmm, okay, this might actually be real. Interesting. And it's interesting because like I would say, I would say that this is the best way to describe the platypus is to call this animal the utmost extreme and perfect and like just beautiful example of covergent evolution. And what covergent evolution is, it's basically like there are animals all around the world that are not even close to related to one another. They have never crossed one another in their evolutionary tree. However, they have very, very similar structures, like wings or legs, or in the case of the platypus, uh, the bill and the webbed feet and the venom and the the luminescence and the fucking the the fur and the tail and like everything it is characteristics the structure form the form for function basically because um there are so many animals that they end up because evolution is very real <laughs> very very real it's very 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 real i kind of can't believe that in 2022 there are still people who don't believe in it but i understand that science is hard and that are not everybody can grasp it and I hope that I can, you know, be a, a voice of education to those who need it. <laughs> but it's very easy to just kind of think about how animals evolve based on their environment and based on the challenges that they face that they need to overcome. And I guess not everybody gets this, but it's a fact that evolution takes a lot of time, but it happens in response to the challenges and just the general lifestyle that an environment uh, pr provides for a, a species. Covergent evolution is basically species of all different types that live in similar environments that basically call for or kind of demand a certain set of traits. And those animals are obviously the ones who survive better. And so they're the ones who pass on their genes and they're the ones who survive. And so the animals that have the traits that respond the best to that environment, that are tailored the best to that environment, they obviously survive and they go on to pass their genes on. And that's how evolution works in a nutshell. It's obviously a lot more complicated than that. But what I'm saying is that the platypus is one of the best examples of covergent evolution because they are in no way anywhere close to related to the duck or the otter or the beaver or the venomous reptile or any reptile, in fact, despite what their leg placement may tell you. I mean, I'm getting really nerdy right now, but even the fact that the platypus's legs are on their sides positioned the way that they are is unlike any mammal in the world. It's very reptilian. They are literally venomous. They're venomous and they're a mammal. They're venomous. They have venom in the spurs on their back legs. The males do actually. It's just the males, which is even weirder. So the males are venomous because they use their venom for male combat. I mean, they're a mammal that's venomous. That's in and of itself extraordinary. They have this bill. They have a bill like a duck. And who's this? Who's going to like ruin my rant? Who the fuck is that? Is that flurry? Is that flurry? Weirdo flurry? Anyway, their duck bill, right? So they get a duck bill and it works really well with what they eat. They don't have any teeth. Yeah, it's weirdo flurry. Okay, Voldemort. And honestly, she's terrifying, but not for my island. Anyway, they have a duck bill, works really well for what they eat. They don't have any uh, teeth. However, what they do have on their duck bill, it's, a, it's incredible. It's downright amazing. And I hope that you grasp it. It's really so mind-blowing that this e exists. The platypus has electro reception like a shark okay so a shark for example on their snout every shark has small little jelly filled pores called the ampullae of lorenzini that conduct electricity and allows them to uh, basically sense the electric pulses in the muscles of every living thing around them and that's the main way that they hunt is by sensing the electric pulses that uh, muscular activity puts off. This is like the crowning jewel. This is the sixth sense of the shark. This is like the amazing thing. And it's not to say that this doesn't exist in other species because of course it does, but it's also extremely, extremely special. It's actually its main mode of hunting too. It's it's not just like a little thing because for a lot of species that do have electroreception other than the shark, it's kind of a secondary hunting tool. But for the platypus, they actually hunt with their eyes closed, their ears closed, their nostrils 
closed so that they don't get any water in them. And they actually rely almost solely on electroreception. And you can see them use it because they move their beak from side to side. And it's actually a very powerful sense that they use in hunting, which is incredible. And I mean, I am not done. (laughs) I can't believe I'm not done. I have so many more things about the platypus to share with you. It's actually, it's ridiculous. Their tail, for example, is like, it's almost prehensile. I don't know if it's it's fully considered prehensile, but they it's very dexterous. Oh, it's Alice. She's beautiful. She's so cute. A lot of people are scared of her because she looks very human. And honestly, it's like now that y'all pointed it out, I do see it. I think she's beautiful regardless. Like she's like a beautiful girl. You know, she's like a beautiful bitch, beautiful human girl. Anyway, so yeah, their fucking weird ass tail obviously helps them to swim like a beaver. It gives them a lot of propulsion in the water because that's where they do best. They're pretty bad on land. Honestly, they don't do very well because their feet are incredible and so tailored to a life almost 100% in the, in the water. But their tail, again, it, it, it offers them a lot of really great propulsion, but it's also used. It's crazy. It's fucking nuts, dude. It's nuts. As a biologist, I'm telling you that I am still grappling with this. So I understand if it's a lot to take in, but their tail is de- so dexterous that they hold things with it. They actually carry and pick up things with their tail and drag them around and that's how they build their dens and shit whereas beavers use their mouth and then they just kind of like use their tail to like pat things but the way that you'll have to just look it up platypuses actually carry shit with their tails like like it's a hand (laughs) it's fucking weird dude it's really weird it's crazy oh did i get to the part where they um Fluoresce, they fluoresce. So they actually do fluoresce, which means that they glow in the dark, kind of. They glow under a black light, like scorpions. They're not bioluminescent per se, despite some things I've read that I've kind of like inaccurately called them bioluminescent. So bioluminescence is that animals have a mechanism within their biology that creates light organically. That's not what they do. Fluorescence is more along the lines of what the platypus is able to do, which is still remarkable and very, very unique amongst mammals and amongst most animals, honestly. And it's just absorbing light and then they re-emit it through their body. And the best example that most people know about is the scorpion. They fluoresce. So if you shine a black light over a scorpion, they will completely glow in the dark. And (laughs) the fucking platypus does this too. And it's like, what the fuck? Dude, why? Why the fuck do you glow under a black light like that? Why? We don't really know. That's the secret. Yeah, we don't really know everything. Oh, it's, what's her name? Poppy? Is that Poppy or Pete? That's Poppy. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Little Poppy. Salem, I really hope you found Poppy. I didn't get to finish your uh, villager hunt the other day, but if you didn't, I'm so sorry. (laughs) Genuinely, I know how it feels to have everybody like living your life, the life that you're supposed to live. When everybody was finding Kyle, except for me, I get it. It's hard and I'm so sorry. Uh, Again, I don't know if you found Poppy, so I'm going to leave her here, but rip, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, um, the platypus. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot that they have no stomach. (laughs) I'm so fucking tired. (laughs) Monotraps. Yeah, they have no stomach. Same with the akinda, actually. It's just kind of not really the vibe of the monotram to have a stomach. (laughs) It's just not really their vibe. So that's a thing. And basically what that means is that they just, their their food that they eat goes straight from their esophagus to their intestines. And it just doesn't need a stomach (laughs) for whatever fucking reason. So that's great. They have like this excessive webbing on their feet. It's more than any other webbed creature for the most part like their webbing goes far beyond their toes and up their limbs and like they have the most hydrodynamic like body plan and it's just I mean it's just it's honestly honestly if you want my honest fucking thoughts it's excessive it's ridiculous it's extra and I fucking couldn't stand them more genuinely like they genuinely have terrible eyesight they can barely see and so I love that fact about them and it's kind of like 
you kind of start asking yourself, like, what can't they do? What can't they fucking do? And I'll give you an answer. They, there is something they can't do. They can't fucking see. Not like 100, they're not 100% blind, but they have terrible eyesight. But then you remember, oh yeah, they don't need their eyes because they have electroreception in their fucking beak. Like, what? Wait, what? Oh, these must be bugs. Because I'm like, wait, who put items on this island? I'm kind of scared. That seems like like a trap, but it's not, it wasn't a trap. It was just bugs. Oh, who's that? Bruce. Bruce. He looks good in all black though. And like the whole black rain get up. I love when they're in their rain, their rain outfits. I like that. I like being out in the rain, especially in my little nightgown. That's very spooky, very Samara. Anyway, I just find it so crazy that the platypus exists, but I also want you to know that the echidna is a monotrem as well. So my favorite um, fun fact about the echidna is that they have a four-pronged penis and the females have two vaginas. <laughs> And again, I'm a biologist. I'm not trying to make this weird. This isn't weird. It's not weird to talk about genitalia when, it, when you're a biologist. Okay, so just get over it. What I mean by four-pronged penis is that it's like a fork, <laughs> basically, is the best way to describe it. And it's like the females, they do have two vaginal openings. I won't lie to you. One, two, as in two, as in not one, but two. <laughs> They're weird. I don't know what happened over there in the Indo-Pacific. I really don't, but something happened that uh, caused this, <laughs> that caused the, the monotremes. And it's crazy. And yeah, kindos also lay eggs. And I'm probably forgetting shit. Like I'm probably still forgetting stuff that people will comment and be like, hey, you forgot to talk about how the echidnas do this or like platypuses do this. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I totally forgot that because it's just, it's too much. It's excessive. I don't have room in my brain, quite frankly. I mean, I would love to go and like study them more and like work with them more, but I... <laughs> Sherry, is that her? Sherry, my bully, my bully, my bully. Don't let her see me. She's just like looking for a bitch to fucking kick. She really is. I hate her. She's such a bully. She's a bully, I tell you. And then echidnas, like, you know, they, aside from the, the dick thing, they are also electroreceptive. Obviously, they have this like a little snout that's electroceptive and they eat ants. They've got this long tongue. I think it's like half the length of their body. They do have like the, the claws. They love to dig like knuckles. And then who's this? Who the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Anchovy. Like, don't fucking insult me. I'm a long time player of this game. How dare you? How dare you? Anyway, echidnas. Uh, yeah, electroreceptive as well, <laughs> if you can handle it. And to boot, they are so fucking cute. So damn cute. Watch an echidna walk around like a little fucking... It's like a little baby that I love. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, they are so fucking goddamn cute. Same with platypuses genuinely so goddamn cute and i will say that despite what phineas and ferb may tell you 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 can't have a platypus as a pet it just is not possible they do not do that <laughs> you can't have one except i guess phineas could make it happen you know him but uh that's about it so that's monotrems and you can probably understand why i'm so upset i just needed to vent honestly i needed to vent i needed to rant about them and i know y'all love to hear it so that is that actually you know what here's a fucking rant for you and i just tweeted this tonight it gives you a good indication of like what time it is and what day it is that I'm recording this so there's a apparently there's a children's book I never caught wind of it I guess it was a little before before or after my time not sure called Lyle Lyle Crocodile you might know where I'm going with this children's book look it sounds really cute I love any crocodilian representation <sighs> but they're making a movie right and uh I'll get into it after I look and it's Jacob or who's this Peck probably Peck Peck. Very scary. Genuinely, honestly, actually very, very, very scary. Might work out, but I don't care. I don't like him. I just really don't like men, if I'm being honest. Anyway, so I'm making a movie about Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile, right? And I normally would be like, hell yeah, cool, awesome, love it. Love, again, can't stress this enough, crocodilian representation. Except for the fucking fact. 
I'm going to, I'm going to break something. I have to, I have to breathe. <sighs> Except for the fact that the crocodile in the trailer in the movie, the CGI Lyle, Lyle crocodile is so fucking clearly, so obviously, like they didn't even make it ambiguous. It, they made, they, it, the morphology is perfect for an American alligator. It's an American alligator. How did this happen? Yes, you're talking about Lyle Lyle crocodile, and it's a it's an American alligator, my friend. I wonder, I hope, and I pray, and I wonder if they are planning on making this a part of the plot, where it's like everybody thinks that Lyle's a crocodile, and then some brave soul finally comes along and is like, you know what, Lyle, you are actually an alligator. You've been an alligator all along. So you're a Lyle, Lyle alligator, and it's fine. Genuinely, honestly, it's totally fine. I would say as a biologist, but that's, I mean, as a citizen of the world, I want everyone to have the facts. <laughs> I want everyone to have the truth. And Lyle, Lyle Crocodile by Sony Pictures, that's, that's suppressing the truth from people. It's, I mean, it's so easy. Google is free. It costs zero dollars, no money. And it's like the animators, like they must have had to go on to the internet or to consult people, alligator and crocodile experts to be like, hey, I got to animate this. What do I do? How, what is it? What do they look like? You know, so it's almost like eh, you guys, did you know? And where's the villager, by the way? Where is the villager? Hmm. So, so weird. I think we have another island where I, there's no villager. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it would appear as though there's no villager on this island. Yeah, it would have certainly appeared that way. I don't think that there is a villager on this island, so that's weird. Yeah, it's like the second time this has happened on this villager hunt. It's just weird. Anyway, fuck Lyle Lyle Crocodile. <laughs> It's an alligator. I just hate that so much. I think it's just so needless. Like, why can't you just make Lyle, Lyle crocodile a crocodile? Why would you make him an alligator? I know that the difference doesn't mean much to some, to most people, but it's inaccurate scientifically and you just like to drop it. <laughs> why do that? Why do that? It's like so easy. They're not even that much different but they are different so it's like i don't know personally my child <laughs> is going to be that asshole in school who's like actually um that's an alligator that's a crocodile because it's right <laughs> okay it's right and my kid's gonna fucking be the bane of her teacher's existence in many ways especially during dinosaur week i do apologize in advance that my child is going to be a brilliant genius and is going to know the accurate facts about animals. <laughs> uh, but honestly, if a teacher gets has to be uh, corrected by my child, by my small, small child, my tiny little child, then do better, teacher. That's what I'm, I'm asking is for you to do better. That's, that's, the, that's the tweet. That's the tweet, besties, because her mom really loves animals and is also a biologist. So it's like, how do I not just like teach her everything <laughs> like right away as soon as possible so that she goes into school knowing more than everyone? How do I not do that? And then she's going to, you know, just correct everyone all the time. But it's needed. It's clearly very, very much needed. So <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, my God, Chief. Hi, Chief. I love Chief. He's not who I'm looking for, and uh, that's just too bad because I really want to go to bed. Honestly, I'm getting kind of tired. Chief is so cute, actually. He's, like, so cute and handsome. What the fuck? Chief, where have you been? He's cute. He's really cute, and I'm also, like, finding all the wolves again, which I just think is funny and crazy. But anyway, yeah, my kid is going to know better than Sony Pictures who is in charge of a movie about a crocodile. And y'all really are showing your ass in, in this one. And, and you know what? I get it. 
and and this is here's the thing i'll be i'll level with you lyle lyle crocodile and sony pictures i will level with you and let you know that i get it and that i know that you saw the crocodile probably maybe this is my theory you saw the crocodile and you're like they're a little bit less cute than the alligator and we really gotta sell this, you know? We have to try to sell a crocodilian, which for a guy, apparently most people is a hard sell, which is weird to me, but I get it. So you picked the cuter one of the two. You picked the alligator, but like you knew what you were doing. You know what you're doing. It's inaccurate. You knew I would notice. I did notice, I'm calling you out. I think you really just should have tried to make the crocodile look cute. <laughs> you couldn't, you just couldn't because it's just silly. It's not a crocodile. At the end of the day, he's an alligator and he always will be. And it's just gross if I'm being honest. And it just shows me that you thought that crocodiles were ugly. And so that's why you didn't want Sean Mendez to voice a crocodile because God forbid Sean Mendez voices something ugly like a crocodile, even though crocodiles are adorable and cute and you guys are wrong. <laughs> okay. And my daughter will not be watching Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile. Actually, we probably will be watching the movie. And then the whole time, I'm just going to bitch to her about how it's an alligator, not a crocodile. <sighs> God. So, yeah, that's what I've been dedicating my life to. Where are the villagers I want? <gasps> Dom. Dom. What are you doing here? All right. Anyway, bye, Dom. Let's see how many more tickets I have. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96, 96. So we'll use the last six and then I'll probably go to bed, but I might like just keep going in the morning. Who knows? But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go to 30. We'll go to 30. All right, come on, baby. Make this such an easy, wonderful villager hunt, would ya? Could you? would ya? Please. Wouldn't that be so great to just have like an easy cut and dry fucking villager hunt? And it is Savannah. Absolutely beautiful and just so wonderful and beautiful. But she's not scary. There's nothing scary about her. All right. And that's bad. That's a bad thing. So honestly, I think it's going to happen. I have like a weird feeling that it is going to happen. I actually do think I think it's, I think it's going to happen. I think we're going to get Lucky or Petrie or Roswell. Not this one, as you can clearly see, but maybe the next one. Who knows? Probably. Come on. This has got to be the one. Oh, geez. Who's that again? Honestly, love her. think she's beautiful. Gorgeous, in fact. Don't remember her name. I love that she's got a star in the middle of her head because like when a horse has a little, little bit of white there, it's actually called a star. But I don't remember her name <laughs> and I don't have time. Down in the comments below, let me know who that is. She's beautiful. Love her so much. She's so cute, but mm, not scary. Not a very scary girl. All right. This is the one. This is not the one. Actually, as a matter of fact, as it turns out, it's really truly not the one. I mean, it couldn't be further from the one. Not that it's not scary, but I, my God, just would do anything not to have to see that man ever again. Well, Bert, I just know you came through for me. It's coach. Like that is actually a fucking war crime. That is fighting words. Wilbur, I gotta fucking grab your little bitch. Do you have any idea why the dodo went extinct in the first place? It's because humans were irresponsible with them. And I think I'm about to be fucking irresponsible with you, to be honest. I really am so sick of this, Wilbur. That is so fucked up that you would do that to me. Like, you know for a fact. You know, I mean, we've been through this. You know how I feel about coach. Coach. Like, for real. Anyone who is, like, g giving asylum to coach is unforgivable. Why would you give him shelter? Why would you give him a place to call home? Coach? Coach. He's like a 46-year-old fucking weirdo. Like, stop. Just stop there. I'm going to stop you there. I don't want to hear your excuses, honestly, for Coach. I really don't. I don't actually, I do not encourage you to go into the comment section and tell me why Coach is forgivable because I don't want to hear it, okay? <laughs>
I just don't. And that's why I know that Wilbur gave me a better villager on this island. It's Diaper Boy. That's right. What's his name? Joey? Is that... Who is that again? I should probably just go check because I'm so pissed off and disturbed that I need a... Like, I need to count to 10. This is supposed to be my last ticket, but I can't live with this. Joey. He's got a diaper on. A diaper. And he made a weird face at me. He's like waggling his eyebrows at me. He's waggling his eyebrows at me and he's got a diaper, an adult diaper. It is actually an adult diaper. Wilbur, I had a fucking deck you one. I think I gotta do a few more to like just wash the taste of Joey, the diaper baby boy, out of my, out of my, out of my life, out of everything. Aw, is that Pearl? Hi, Pearl. She's so cute. Calico baby girl. But I do have to leave right now. And that wasn't necessarily foolish. I just honestly, well, where if I'm being quite honest with you, nothing is going to erase the pain of what you've done to me except for bringing me to the island of the villagers that I want. So I would suggest doing that right away. All right, come on, Wilbur, please pull up for me. I know that you're my friend. I know that you're my friend. You're my friend, you're my friend. And actually, as a matter of fact, it's funny that I said that because he's really not my friend. He's not my friend. He's never been my fucking friend. And we don't get along, quite frankly. This is Mayel. I could kill her. I could actually kill her, like for real. Like, like the end of her life killer. I really could. So I really must must be going. This should really be the island, honestly. I mean, what more could could I go through? Honestly. <gasps> oh my god. This happened. It actually happened. It actually fucking happened. I just want everyone to know I'm like looking around at my squishmallows and like my plushies in, in my room because no one else is here. I just want everyone to know that this fucking happened tonight. I'm telling you what. How long has it been? How long has it been since I made it happen? <laughs> Am I right? Holy shit. I'm so happy. I could fucking die. I could fucking die. I could die. I could just die right now. I could just flop over dead. So anyway, yeah, I just... Um, I, yeah. Wilbur, well played, my friend, absolutely well played. Uh, I just want to thank all of my subscribers, my patrons, my husband, my daughter, um, my squishmallows, my cats, my dogs, my snakes, my frogs. I mean, everyone in my life who has brought me to this moment. This is Roswell. It's Roswell. I mean, it is Roswell. It's Roswell who I wanted more than anyone. Well, hello there. I bet you didn't expect to meet someone like me in a place like this. And he means like an alien uh, at Bamboo Hell. And I'm like, N uh, never, never. I did. I never did. The name's Roswell. I'm an alien about town. I mean, <laughs> an alligator. I just literally, Freudian slip, an alligator about town, aka an alien, or in this case, about islands. And you must be Amanda from Offman, right? We should probably stick together, don't you think? I absolutely think that. Yes. <sighs> I did it. I did it. I did it. I don't have to like come back. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why isn't he letting me get him? Hold on. Hello? Oh my God. He did like too many pieces of dialogue. I thought they just did one or two. I was going to fucking die. Thank God. Yeah. Come to my island immediately at once, Roswell. Your island, huh? Mothman is the name. Yeah. Is it just like this island? Yes, yeah, I don't care. I'm not, yeah, mm-hmm. And his initial phrase is actually space. Good idea. Um, I love you so, so much. I'm so happy that you're coming home. Thank God. Roswell. I got Roswell. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. See, sometimes you just got to do 10 more tickets. 10 more tickets. Or in my case... Three more. Three more tickets. I found Roswell and Kyle, actually, during this villager hunt. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy time. So yeah, we officially have reached our quota on aliens, which is such a good feeling, such a great feeling. I really did like just do a villager hunt in one night. This is, it's the best feeling in the world. If I am being honest, it really truly is. I can't fucking believe this. I just want to thank everyone again. This would not be possible without you. <laughs>
It's just a good feeling. It's a great feeling. It's a truly good, great, awesome, great feeling. I just can't wait to get to work on the alien ass fucking place. Yes, Roswell. All right, I'm dipping. I'm gonna dip out now. Yeah, and then we'll just, yeah, we'll see Roswell in a few days. And then, yeah, we get to work on Mothman some more before I, I and, you know, I, I can, that's my plan. I'm just gonna, um, I think there'll probably be some, like, build videos before another villager hunt. And, like, during the build, I'll just, like, organically wait for Eugene or uh, Marshall to leave because I am so sick of time traveling every single day and trying to get somebody to move out purposely. We'll just wait for it to happen naturally because I have so much work to do. It's not even funny. All right, Roswell, just real quick and then I gotta go to bed. Wait, is this, oh my God, like it looked so much like Eric's house that I was like, what? Oh, Marina's already like, who's that? Wait, I thought Roswell had a scary UFO house. What is this? What is this, honey? Oh, he got a white refrigerator. Like for real though, like what is this? I thought this, I thought you had a UFO house, but it's fine. I will certainly get around to, to fixing this because God is this awful. I mean, it's terrible, Roswell. <laughs> But I lo I do love you so much and I'm so glad you're here. Hey, remember when we met up on another island and you invited me to live here? Well, space, here I am. I've spent a few days just meditating, rethinking my life's purpose, but now I'm ready to mingle. Are you? Did I do this? Did I fuck up or something? I thought you had a cool house. It's fine though, Roswell. I think that's just the house I made you on Happy Home Designer, actually. <laughs> I don't know what your house is supposed to look like. Yeah, Marina, he's hot, but like, don't go in there, girl. <gasps> and here comes Cherry. Here comes Cherry. Like the girls are just out and about. Oh, hey, what, what? What brings you here? What brings me here? I live here. I love how chill it is here. Like you can sleep till noon and no one even notices. So true, girl. So fucking true. I love you. <gasps> she just waved to Marina and Marina ignored her. Marina, don't fucking do that. Oh my God. I think, <gasps> you know what I think? These girlies are enemies. They actually hate each other. They hate one another. They're competing for Roscoe. They are competing for Roscoe. Wow, ladies, really? Really, we got a love triangle? We got like a, like a, it's not even really a love triangle because like Roscoe would never, it's like, oh my God, ladies, really? Really? Like so messy. You're going to do that? You're going to be that messy? Really? Could you maybe be even messier? Wow. I just, this is the best day of my life. Finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, we found the villager I wanted. I still really want Petrie really bad, but I am so, so happy to have found Roswell. I'm just going to go visit the patient real quick, aka Roscoe. Wow, look at him. Look at you. Anyway, I am so beyond thrilled, so happy. I'm so glad this worked out. I'm so tired. It's 3.07 a.m. So I'm going to go to bed, but we have Roswell. We do, we got to start on our alien place and I can still do um the the psycho crazy scary lab even though Petrie's not here yet and most importantly I do have to get started on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre cannibal scary farm so I'm so excited to do that as well and we just have so much to do so I'm so excited to do it and thank you all so much for coming on this very wild ride with me. It's been a weird one. It's been a very emotional, weird, triumphant one. I mean, I finally fucking found Kyle too and Roswell. Hell yeah, I'm a fucking bad bitch. You can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. Hell yeah. And so with that, I'm gonna not press my luck and go to sleep. Good night. Love you so much. Mm -hmm.